Wildfires raging across California tonight are threatening 17,000 homes and other buildings. And another firefighter has died battling one of the largest blazes, bringing the death toll now to eight. CNN's Stephanie Elam is uh, joining us live now for what's been dubbed the Holy Fire in Southern California. Stephanie, 20,000 people, I understand, have been evacuated. That's right, Wolf, and they've actually increased the evacuations, and this is part of the reason why, because you see that flame there, right there by that tower, right here behind these homes, and you can probably also see that the wind is picking up here. These are all the concerns in the afternoon when they're fighting fires, and this is what they're dealing with across the state. Tonight, responders are scrambling to save lives and contain the damage as fires blaze across California. These images from the Holy Fire in Orange County show what looks like a fire tornado. The smoke billowing as flames swirl along the hillside. I'm caught on fire. I'm burned. Authorities believe the Holy Fire was man-made, allegedly started by this man, 51-year-old Forrest Gordon Clark, now behind bars and facing several felony arson charges. And if convicted, could spend the rest of his life in prison. You know how this fire started? I have no idea. I was asleep. I had two earplugs in. I just woke up, dude. I got burned. So, okay? Okay, I so woke up and my stuff was all on fire. This is a monster who would go out with low humidity and high wind and the highest heat temperatures this time of the year and intentionally set the forest on fire. He needs to be in jail for the rest of his life. Truly does. Holy Jim Volunteer Fire Chief Mike Milligan has known Clark for decades and showed us a text he says Clark sent him just weeks ago. It's all going to burn just like you planned, it read. Alleged behavior Milligan says he warned officials of in the past. I said that you have to take care of this or he's either going to burn something or kill somebody. You know, and that was three years ago. California's warm and dry conditions, including July, registering as the hottest month on record here, have created the perfect storm for wildfires. <laughs> Nearly 17,000 structures are threatened by three fires alone, as thousands of people have evacuated their homes. More than 13,000 firefighters are battling 19 major fires across the entire state including what has already become the largest in California's history, the Mendocino Complex fire. Quiet! On the front lines, a first-hand glimpse at how they're trying to fight it. Controlled burns help get rid of any potential fuel that could help spread the wildfire. This fire is huge, but why has it been able to grow so big? Well, our first priority is protecting the communities and the homes. Secondly, in building our control lines, we have to use the naturally occurring uh, geographical features to help us control the fire. Back in Southern California, residents here are grappling with the possibility this destruction may be intentional. Already the second wildfire, authorities here are calling arson. I have to say I'm not surprised. However, I, I, feel, I just feel terrible that it has all gone down. And if you take a look right now, it looks like that fire is getting closer to that structure there. This is the concern. This is what they're trying to stop. But take a look also, Wolf, at the thickness, the darkness of the smoke here. That tells you that it is finding new fire, new brush to burn through. And if you look to the right, you can see how clear it is to show you that this darkness you're seeing here is strictly from the fire and the smoke here. The lake is over there. That is where they're going to pull up water from helicopters, from planes to fight this fire. But obviously, when you come this close to civilization, this is where the concern is. And this is where they are battling right now. Right now. All right, Stephanie, be careful over there. Stephanie Elam on the scene for us.